To edit the stat increase or decrease for your player and creatures per level, first go to the advanced tab and then select the player. Increasing the number on the stat will result in more stat per level. So if I set weight to 99.9, .9, I effectively get infinite weight by investing one point into that stat. However, if I was to lower the value below one, say to 0 0.5, then that would result in a smaller increase in my weight per point invested. Furthermore, temperature and torpidity are the only two settings you should not change out of the ones listed here because they have no effect based on my testing. Finally, the default stat increase per level are as follows. Health, stamina, food, water, weight, and crafting skill increase by 10, oxygen increases by 20, melee by five, and fortitude by two. Now with our players out of the way, go ahead and select the tamed dino tab so we can start working our dinos. Now, unlike players, the dinos have three categories. The first is the stats per level, which behaves similar to the player one and is basically the most important one. So basically you increase the health and when you invest a point into it, that creature will get more health. But obviously if you, you know, lower the setting, then that creature will get a smaller increase on their health for every point invested. It's worth noting that unlike players, the stat increase varies between creature species. So I'm gonna demonstrate this using the beacon application on my computer. So basically we've got the Allosaur currently selected right now and the health stat is set to 1.0 instead of its default of 0.2. Now, as you can see, when I invest one point into its health, I should approximately get 27% health increase. However, if we were to select the Argentavis, for example, from the drop down menu with the same health setting, you will see that its health is supposed to go up approximately by 30.38%. Now something to keep in mind is that these percentages are only estimates, so the exact vigor will of course vary in game. The goal here was to explain why when you put a stat point in the allocated health for example, one creature may get more health than the other creature. Now the last two tables only apply during the taming process of a creature. So as you know that when you tame a creature, it will get levels and those levels will randomly distribute points into some stats. The add per level table controls how much of a boost those stats get. The stat affinity table on the other hand effectively does the same thing. However, its increase is dependent on the taming effectiveness during the taming process. Now, I'm gonna be honest, I would not recommend even worrying about these two tables and rather put all your focus and attention on the stats per level. And finally, do not worry about changing the water, fortitude, temperature, or torpidity settings as they do nothing for the creatures from my testing. So if you've got all your player and dino stats correct, there's one more thing you need to do, and that is only if you decided to increase the movement speed. So to increase movement speed, what you simply need to do is you need to select game rules, and then you need to select world. Now in this section, you'll notice two speed settings. The first one will allow players and land creatures to invest points in their movement speed. And then the second setting allows you to put points into the flyer's movement speed. So go ahead and activate the ones that you need. And then once you've done all that, go ahead and hit save changes at the very bottom and then go ahead and start your world. Finally, before we move on, if you already have a save and you change the settings like I'm doing right now, then when you return to your world, your stats would have increased or decreased depending on how you configured your settings. Moving on to Nitrato, your first step is to stop the server, just like I'm doing right now. And the reason we're doing that is we cannot make any edits whilst the server is active. Once the server is stopped, your first step is to type in speed in the search bar and then tick the relevant speed settings if you plan to bump movement speed on your server. From there, select the green save changes button on the right hand side. With that done, go to the left hand side and select config files under the settings section. We are now in the game.ini file where we can edit creature and player stats. Now I'm going to have these settings that I'm copying and pasting in the description for you to go ahead and grab. Furthermore, there is information on the screen right now to tell you what value equals what stat. So for example, player stat 11 will affect my crafting skill. Once you have the values sorted out, go ahead and press the green save changes button. Then once the server has saved, go ahead and restart the server. Thanks for watching. If you have any video suggestions, questions, or want to say hi, let me know in the comments and have a happy new year.